Hello, and welcome to TechBoost TV. I'm Jaime, and today I'm going to show you how to install both processors into the Dell T5500 workstation. Before beginning, we recommend checking with the manufacturer and ensuring the latest firmware is installed. For this installation, you will need a Phillips head screwdriver. Please check out the quick spec link in the description below to learn more about processor compatibility for the Dell T5500. Also check the manufacturer's system manual and comply with their recommended safety instructions. To begin, ensure your computer is powered off and the power cord is unplugged. Next, press and hold the power button until the light shuts off to ensure there is no residual power remaining on the motherboard. To open the system, slide the top latch back and the panel will pop out. Remove the panel and set the system on its side to have better access to the interior. If you have dual processors, you will first need to remove the riser board. First, pull the hard drive tray out by depressing the latch and pulling upward. Pull the riser board out by pulling the latch upward and pulling the entire assembly out. Detach the power cable. Also remove the blue memory cover. Unscrew the primary heatsink and clean off any thermal paste with paper towel and rubbing alcohol. Now lift the single lever and the main processor cover. Remove any installed processor and clean with rubbing alcohol if necessary. Take notice of the directional marking on the processor and ensure it aligns with the corresponding mark on the motherboard. Gently place the processor inside the socket and ensure proper alignment and snug fit. Close the processor cover and replace the retention pins to lock the processor in place. Apply a small pea-sized amount of thermal paste to the center of the processor. It will spread out once you place the heat sink on top. Secure the heat sink on top of the processor by aligning the holes on the heat sink to the screw mounts on the motherboard. Screw the heat sink down to ensure a firm hold. The second processor is installed onto the previously removed riser board. Lay the riser board flat and unplug the fan's power cable. Next, unfasten the four screws and remove the heat sink assembly. Follow the same process as the first processor. Remove the processor, clean both heat sink and processor, and install the new processor. Replace the retention pins, and then place thermal paste on the processor. Screw down the heat sink and reconnect the cable to secure it in place. Now replace the riser board by first reconnecting the power cable and then extending the handle and sliding the board in between the grooves to ensure it connects properly. If it does not align properly, the connection will not be solid. Lastly, reattach the outer panel. Please check out our how-to videos covering processor, memory, hard drive, and video card installation for this and other systems. If you have found this helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below. We welcome suggestions on how to make these more useful, so please don't be shy with requesting additional content.